Today we're going to be testing the tracker light satellite meter made by Orbital Tracker on the DISH network uh, systems turbo DISH which is the 1000.2 and we're going to be aligning the DISH 500 satellite DISH as well. This is kind of to show you the functionality of the uh, tracker light satellite meter. So what we want to do is go obviously go ahead and turn that unit on. I went to my custom satellite menu and I in the uh, satellite parameters that were available on the uh, tracker light website and also on the uh, sat pro website so what I what I had to do is I created two custom files for these two dishes one of them is for the 110 and the other one is for the 119 so I'm gonna go ahead and start with the 1000.2 the turbo dish and we're gonna look at the 110 satellite what I'm going to do is want to connect the F connector to the right port, which is the LMB in port. As you notice, the unit is not in search mode because this big screen is blank. What I'll do is plug this in nice and snug, and I'll hit any number on the keypad to go into search mode. So I'll go ahead and uh, hit that in a second. But I just wanted to kind of show you what, what I'm looking at here. It's giving me my... My compass heading, my elevation, and the LMB skew. Obviously, this dish, you don't skew the LMB. You more or less skew the dish, but uh, you want to get that information off of the receiver because they're, they're particular to the type of dish you're using. But you can see here that we're looking at the 110 satellite. Frequency is 12224. Symbol rate is 20,000. The lo local isolator is 11250. LMB is, is 13, and the 22 kilohertz is off. And obviously, this is our is our Latin long. When you went, when you get the unit, you are going to have to put your Latin long so it could determine your uh, your your satellite uh, pointing uh, directions for the top bars. Okay, so let's go ahead and start our search here. I've already aligned the dish, so I wanted to give you the what it looks like when you're on the satellite. And I'm going to take it off alignment so you can see how it reacts to to the change of uh, alignment. You can see right away that we got a. A signal and a quality reading. The quality reading is pretty much at 99%, uh, and we are showing a locked icon on the top right there. So that basically tells us that it's ID the satellite. We're on the right bird, and at this point, you basically want to fine tune it. So I want to show you the signal reading for 110, and I want to go out and go to 119 as well. You can see that as well. So we do have a positive lock on the 110 and 119 satellites. So what I want to do now is basically take the, the satellite dish off alignment so you can more or less get an idea of how sensitive this meter is with that uh, new chip that they're using, that uh, fast track chip. Hold on. See there, it automatically, instantly starts getting off alignment. And what I'm doing, I'm slightly putting pressure on the dish. I'm obviously moving it out of an angle. You can see the tone changes. Right there, I'm completely off the satellite. You can see the quality bar is telling me that I'm close. And as I fine tune it, you'll see that the tone will start to change and the quality bar will start to peak out. There you go. You can hear that definitely, that tone change. What you want to do now is basically just fine tune it, peak out that quality bar as high as you can get it, tighten the bolt, pretty much done. You want to get a cross-reference for the 110 satellite. We're on the 119 now. Let's scroll there. My left and right arrow buttons will tell me what satellite uh, file I'm on. So I want to go to satellite file number one. See that there? I'll show you the sensitivity on the 110 satellite as well. See that? And we got, there you go. It kind of went back on there and I'm pretty much locked on. I'll pick out that quality bar. And I'm pretty much good to go. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to test it on the uh, Dish 500. I'm going to take it out of search mode. Disconnect the F connector. And you can see here it's just a standard dish. Uh, 1000.2 which is a turbo AC dish which is a very common dish for Dish Network in the United States. And obviously the uh, bread and butter uh, Dish 500. It uh, looks at the uh, 110 and 119 satellites as well. And we're going to go ahead and test this, this unit as well. We have the same files for the uh, 
Dish 1000 and the Dish 500, so you don't have to create new ones. Obviously, there's plenty of frequencies available on Linksat you can look at and, and download and uh, put into the meter, but we just got the most common ones, and they are available on the Orbital Tracker site and on the uh, Sapro site as well. So let's go ahead and begin our search for 110. We've already peaked it, so we're going to get an instant uh, lock indicator. See that there? And I'm going to take it off alignment there so you can kind of see what the sensitivity is like on the Dish 500. See that? Instantly. I moved the dish about a quarter of an inch. And you can see there it just starts to, to basically uh, search. So as I slowly get there, you'll see that quality bar. It tells me I'm pretty much on the satellite. And there you go. That's priceless there. Very easy to use satellite meter. I'm going to go ahead and take it out of uh, the 110. I'm going to switch over to the 119. Boom. Perfect. I'm going to go ahead and take it out of alignment there so you kind of get an idea. See there? Right there? I'm completely off of the satellite. What I'm going to do, I'm slowly going to scan. Boom. There you go. So it's basically, it works very similar to the uh, DISH 1000.2. You're gonna get the same readings pretty much. Uh, peek out that quality bar and you're 100%. Overall, this is a very well-made meter. It comes with a protective case. As you can see here, it's got a uh, USB cable here for your, uh, if you wanted to create your own satellite files, you could download them directly to it. We've noticed that it's actually easier just to type them in. Uh, you got a, a speaker uh, here. Your power here, it does come with a car charger and a uh, home charger. And you can also remove this back cover, which I'll do in a minute. Kind of show you the functionality of it. But You do have this extra port here. If you run out of battery, you could power the unit with the satellite receiver. You can see here, I powered both of these dishes with, uh, with just the battery power line. Kind of give you an idea of what back there. You can see this is a good protective case. It's nice and soft. It's not like some other ones that are really just hard and don't protect any type of... Uh, Vibration you can see there's a pretty pretty normal unit. You need to take the battery, replace it. It's pretty simple. So overall, uh, this is a tracker light, a satellite meter, high marks, works great with Dish Network, Direct TV, and pretty much any type of uh, FTA uh, satellite. Hope it helps uh, you guys out in your installations. Thank. You.